Hi everyone, welcome along to another Jurassic World Alive video and today I'm going to give you a strike guide for the upcoming Epic Strike this week which if rumours are correct, and they usually are um, it looks like we're going to get a level 30 Postimetrodon as a single um, dino um, and this is going to be interesting because the usual tactic of just bleeding everything to death um, is probably not going to work so for lower players especially, we're going to have to be a little bit more creative as to how we beat this thing. Uh, so let's start by having a look at uh, Postimetrodon and its stats. Um, I've already touched on one of the key points in that is immune dino, so um, it's not going to be stunned, slowed um, or bled. Um, so the way that we're going to have to beat this is basically through damage and speed. Um, and that presents a second problem in that Postimetrodon's not the slowest dinosaur of all. Um, he has a speed of 124, and at level 30, uh, 5,105 health and 1,216 damage. In terms of his move set, he has Defense Shattering Strike, which does one turn damage and bypasses armor. He has Ferocious Strike, which does one. Uh, damage but is then boosted uh, by 50% for the next three turns and that has a cooldown of three. He has defense shattering impact which does 1.5 times damage um, again bypasses armor and that has a cooldown of one and he also and this could present a potential fly in the ointment has regeneration. Now I don't think that the AI will use regeneration but who knows um, and that will heal 50% and cleanse um, which obviously is irrelevant to him given that he's immune anyway um, so let's have a look at how we are going to tackle this dino so uh, I've tried to do this using lower level dinos to make it more accessible to people um, I'm fortunate enough to have uh, Erlendom and my solution probably would have been along the lines of cloak and smack him in the face with a rampage and that would have took off uh, a good 5,000 close to his health and then just finish him off with one other dino but to make this useful to people I'm going to try and break this down with dinos that most people will have or are fairly accessible. Now I've had to make a few assumptions here um, in terms of move orders and things like that but essentially the premise of what we're going to try and do is to outspeed the postometrodon so that we can get two hits in on at least two of our diners um, versus his one before we die. So we're going to start off with a monolometrodon um, and that has at level 16, so just on creation, um, 2,903 health, sorry, 2,303 health and 614 damage. Um, we're trying to get the postimetrodon down from 5105 health. So on turn one we're going to use distracting impact um, and that will get the postimetrodon down to 4184. I assume that the um, postimetrodon will use an optimal move set of going with ferocious strike first. Um, if it doesn't then you know, I'm assuming that this will end up with a, a more positive outcome for us in that he's foregone 50% extra damage on the first turn. But assuming he uses Ferocious Strike first, that will deliver uh, close to 1,800 damage to us, 1,200 um, multiplied by 1.5. And that will leave our level 16 Monolometrodon with 479 health. Because we're faster, we get to do another defense shattering impact to him on turn two. That will leave him with just over 3,000 health, and he will then kill our uh, monolometrodon. Now, the key point here is we need to pay attention to what move he uses on turn two to kill our monolometrodon. Most of the time, the AI is a bit stupid and goes for the highest damage move, regardless of how much health is left which in this case would be Defense Shattering Impact. If he does use that, that will then leave both Ferocious Strike and Defense Shattering Impact on cooldown, and we know that then it's Defense Shatter Strike um, that's left for the Postimetrodon. 
if on turn two he uses defense shatter and strike and that leaves his impact ready then we need to change the order of what we go with so we'll assume he does impact to kill our dino first in which case we're then going to bring out our spine auto after um i've gone with a level 15 and um, which most people will have um and well most people won't level beyond that point because he he's got dna for spine out of suckers um, he has 1842 health and 778 damage on turn one uh, sorry turn three which will be this dino's turn one uh, we'll use distracting rampage which will take uh, post metrodon down to 1707 and assuming he does defense shattering strike to the spinotoraptor that will leave him clinging on with 18 health assuming he doesn't crit if he crits at five percent we're dead um but you know all things being well he will live to fight another turn and then on that next turn we will use critical impact which will leave him with a marginal amount of health left if it doesn't crit um, and it will kill him um, if it does crit um, and then we will die from whatever move that the post metrodon then does and then we've got one clean up dino left which must be faster again than the post metrodon i've selected monolophosaurus at level 15 but this could be a raptor it could be a dinocerus it could be any faster than 124 speed dino that's got a significant amount of turn one damage a pounce a rampage something along those lines should do the job so as i say that should get us through the event um the key thing here for us is paying attention to that move that he uses on turn two to kill our first dino if it's defense shatter and impact then we'll go with spinotoraptor um, as our second dino if it's defense shattering strike then we're going to need to switch that around and use our high damage single turn uh, monolophosaurus or raptor on uh, for our second dino and then we'll bring spinotoraptor in uh, for our third um, i'll give this a go myself to turn the theory into practice hopefully my maths um, are correct if you can think of anything in there that isn't correct please do let me know if you have some alternative strategies with similar level dinos or lower that you think might work again uh, let me know i'm sure there's plenty of ways that we can use draker x gen 2 um to deliver a killing blow um rather than um relying on a raptor or monolophosaurus it was just really for me this um impact versus strike on turn two and which way he goes i didn't want that to upset the whole strategy hopefully that's been useful um, if it has please do drop me a like consider subscribing i'll do more of these in the future uh, and check out my other videos till next time speak soon